All right. Chris is making another pot of coffee. Although in our case, it's not a pot of coffee because we use a French press, but still. More coffee is on the way. I don't know why my camera's focusing like that occasionally. Alright. <clears throat> Craft a warp cell. What's up, Smeagol? Do you want to come up here? Any matter... Warp cell. Charge the hyperdrive. Alright, we're going to have to warp to a new system. up it's getting this ugly beast of a ship <clears throat> thanks people bum I did a fresh start save so <laughs> for better or for worse I'm committed now launch thruster needs fuel what else do I need to make for this oh I've got some we're good I keep forgetting I can just use the quick charge thingy. There we go. Here we go. Past the floaty islands into the sky. Excuse me. All right. We should go to the space station, I'm assuming, because I'll need what? Uh, uh... Is it still the same thing where I'll want to go there to get my suit upgrade? Like in the real, like in the base game where you summon the anomaly and everything? Do you, do you still do that here? Or no anomaly in this one. No anomaly here. But I'm assuming if we go to the space station... Oops. There's no anomaly until after the first warp. Okay. Rancid flesh sells for good money, says Hemulator. Okay. <laughs> Land on the derelict freighter. I've heard horror stories about derelict freighters. Maybe I maybe I'll not do that right now. Let's go to the upgrade first. You gonna go to sleep, Smeagol? Man, the music for these expeditions so far has been fire. I'm gonna take more inventory space. Yeah, yeah. Okay, land, that's salvage opportunities. These are secondary missions. Let's look at my primary mission. Complete phase one, three of six milestones completed. Find new milestones, five, Okay, so I need to focus on the milestones stuff, it looks like. So I need to warp to a new system, 
reach the first drop zone, whatever that means. I could pin the milestone. Well, we definitely need to a warp to a new system, so. I want one of these so bad. These these ships with the wings look so freaking badass, man. Those haulers. Ah! That's like my ultimate goal right now. I'll get back in my, uh, my blimp. Go ahead and go to the galaxy map. Expedition route. What is the yellow icon for everybody? It's the objective? Okay. All right, move along route. Warp. Oh, that looks cool. That is a cool looking planet with a moon in orbit around it. All right, I went to light speed. So I think next is gonna be going to the nothing. Reward. I got a base computer finally. Okay, I got a Starship Launch Thruster mod. I'm going to have to move these around. That's the Pulse engine, launch thrusters. We need to move this over to here. Okay. <clears throat> it put rewards in the ship inventory if you claim them on the ship. Oh, that would explain that. That explains that a lot. Thank you very much. I probably didn't want to put that in the exosuit. Cause that'll just be more tritanium or whatever it is. Tritium, whatever it's called. Yeah, tritium. Have I died yet? No, I have not. I'm just, I have no idea what phase I'm in, Bill. Like I think phase one, I just started. I'm gonna ask a question of the community here. Someone just said, can I show us your friend code? There's a lot of stuff that we can give you, a lot of resources that we can help you with, etc. Is there any reason, I've not looked any of this, I just wanna make sure that there's, I don't know what the risks to that are. Are there any risks? Is that, is that something I want to share on screen? I don't know that I want to. Tell me the potential downsides. Cause I don't really, um, I'm, I appreciate the gesture, but I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna get trolled. Cause I didn't know anything about the glyphs, for example, the other day. And someone's like, don't share your glyphs on screen. And I'm so, so glad I didn't. So that kind of stuff has been like, you know, want to make sure that I'm not going to regret the decision. Because I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, I'm looking for the infestation alpha or drop zone one. I'm assuming drop stone one. 
Each expedition has several marked rendezvous points. A suggested path to the rendezvous is marked on the galaxy map. A significant journey may be required to reach the rendezvous. In space, access the galaxy map, blah, 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 to view routes. So is that not, where is that? Is that, okay, so I see it's the yellow icon. Okay, it's right here. All right, drop zone one. That's what I was thinking, Lord of the Apes. Yeah, I, I, I'll i just um, hold off on that. I appreciate the gesture if you wanted to give me stuff, but I'm okay. Um, that'll be something where I don't really want... Yeah. That's what I suspected, guys. So I appreciate the gesture, but it, it just sounds like I'm opening myself up. If I do it on screen, it sounds like I'm opening myself up to a can of worms for the bad actors out there. And I'm not suggesting that you were a bad actor when you offered, made you made that offer, uh, Stephen Posey, but just because I, I have to be conscious of getting stream sniped, and I've had people before in the past, I remember before I turned my Discord and had it get moderated, and I used to let just people come in the Discord channels and hang out and chat and stuff. One time when I was streaming, I had somebody come in and yell the N-word five times while I was streaming because they wanted to troll me. I was live on YouTube, and that was not a fun day for me because I had to panic that I was going to get banned from YouTube. So I'm very conscious about that kind of stuff. Um, I have to be. My day job. Yeah, people bum. I like the idea of somebody suggesting the idea of like having a, a community planet that we can all go play on. If I decide, you know, if I if I'm gonna stick with this for the next six months and I continue to build an even larger audience than who have already been tuning in, I definitely see the potential of having like a community planet and like doing the friend stuff there. But for my personal stuff, sit back, enjoy the ride. Oh, I can't go down. We're too far in. Okay. We're fine. We're right here. I don't know why I'm panicking about using it. Yeah, people people have said they share my friend code for community nights, but then I play offline all the time. That makes total sense, too. That's a good option. I didn't think about that. Like, playing in single player and then having specific nights when I would do multiplayer. You're giving me all sorts of great ideas. How could someone ruin your expedition in multiplayer, Kelimbor? I'm, I'm curious about... I haven't seen anybody impacting my enjoyment of this any in any way, shape, or form yet. Yet. I'm curious what could potentially be something that would... What's a potential way that someone could ruin the expedition for me if, I, if I'm playing in multiplayer the way I am? No, I have PvP turned off. I'm just kind of curious. I land right in front of a toxic plant. Ouch! Did I just land in the... <laughs> Dude, I think my colliders are fucked up. Yeah, check that out. My ship is, like, in the terrain. <laughs> That's amazing. Guys, I crashed my ship. <laughs> Day one, expedition. I crashed my ship on planet XY 243-B. <laughs> Must survive the cold, frigid winds. Uh, people says I also have a second account now, but this guy's having really good issues. I just play on the other account. Makes sense. All right. All right, we're going this way.
What are you? Aloe flesh. Creepy. These are kind of interesting. They're like a cross between windmills and feathers. Kind of like um, peacocks. Oh, that dust in the horizon is pretty impressive. That's gonna hurt. Ugh. These little geck, man, they run kind of funny. Um, dun, 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 dun. Stratostein says, as far as reading the expedition, I could only really see uh, kill stealing as being annoying, but it wasn't. It wouldn't really ruin it. Oh, there's some metal fingers over there. I don't have the required tools. A streamer mode? Streamer mode would be cool. Yeah, people, I liked the idea when you said that during the live stream of the day. I was like, it would be kind of cool to have times when you travel around without those streamlines, like, screaming into your screen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shit. Oh, I'm backed into the corner. Not a good place to be. I'm in tall grass, I can't see shit! <laughs> Are you also gonna attack me? No, okay. Make a run for it. Probably not. Go, go, go. Fuck it. Run. 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 <laughs> Did he finally fall asleep, Chris? Okay, good. All right, let's take a step out. Take a breather. All right, let's get inside, take a moment to regroup. Easy2 says, what's your current objective? Playing through the missions, man. Doing the expedition. <laughs> Crashing the ship. Kevin7 says, you don't need to send anyone your player code in order to exchange stuff. That's kind of what I was, I was thinking in the back of my mind, too. It's like... I don't know how it all works. Lights are flickering. If the power goes off, you know why. Dun, dun, dun. I love how people try to make opinions like Umbrella Corp saying, you're better off playing in third person. No, I'm not. You're better off playing third person because you like to play in third person. I'm me, and I like first person. So I'm better off in first person. Everybody else can do whatever they want. That's the beauty of playing video games. Dun, dun, dun. Eric Hess said, even with multiplayer off, I ran into an issue where a player had built a base on top of a buried treasure. I couldn't dig it up. Annoying, but not game-breaking. Okay, new players don't find the option to report a base or even know of it. I didn't until yesterday. Somebody told me something. All right, let's see what we can get in here. Encrypted nav data. Anything 
anything else? We got chairs. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing else. Liquidator Command broadcasts as follows. The drop zone has been secured. Congratulations to all surviving cleanup units. The scouts of the Vanguard have mapped out prime infestation sites on this world. Now you must reach the nest and do your part. I'm acknowledging the order. I'm going to do my part. Hey, Frodo. Don't bother your brother, buddy. Your brother's sleeping. He's not feeling good. Hey, just because I suck at combat doesn't mean I'm not going to try it, though, seriously. I got I got I got this week to do the expedition before World of Warcraft kicks off the new expansion, so got to get it done. Hemulator says you're not at full health. Adding a shield health mods will add the health part unrestored. I have no idea what that even refers to. Alright. I'm gonna look in here. I need to complete some milestones. Inventory full. Well, poo -doo. What do I not need that I can throw away potentially? Nothing at the moment, gosh darn it. Although I wonder if I should establish a base camp so that I could start building some storage units and structures. I don't know how much I'm gonna need to get through the expedition is the question. So. Uh, what was the last one? Infestation Alpha. And I get the hazmat gauntlet. Frodo, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Come here. Oh, your tummy's full. Rargh. Over there. Lay down. Good boy. All right. Dun, 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 dun. You can always dump stuff on your ship too. Haulers have more space. I forgot all about the fact that I'm running around in a hauler. Yeah, we're working towards purging the first site. See ya, Bubble Bubble Bum. Thanks for hanging out, man. By the way, great guy. I watched a part of it today. I didn't finish the whole thing because I was, I had to go out and buy a new controller, so I was a little stressed this morning. But I did watch part of it. All right. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to go to the first site and purge it so we can finish all the milestones here. So let's. Where's the door? Not that one. Which one is it? There we go. I think it just squished a Hey, no, 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 no. You're not allowed to jump on there. Come on, buddy. You need to sit down and go to sleep. The desk is off limits for you. Did I hit the save pole? Uh, yes, I did. I hit all of them when I see them. So if there's a milestone, that's good. Okay, let's claim... Th uh, actually, I need to do inventory management here real quick um let's stuff the ingredients in the starship you can also put the no i'll hold on to that
Oh, I get an upgrade circuit slot for that reward. I got two of them. And a bunch of nanites. Ah, 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 ah. You stay there, Frodo. Do not get up from there. That's your place. All right, I need to purge the first site. This is where we need to go to complete this phase. The vanguard of the end part, it's up to you. Is that off planet or is it on this planet? Infestation site. Oh, that's on the other side of the planet. Let's... God, this thing controls like a boat. All right, let's go purge this site. This will be the end of our first, well, we've completed all the milestones in this first part. No, Frodo, stay there, buddy. I see you trying to move, buddy. Sit down in your chair and go to sleep. Ah, ah, it's like having bratty children. Hang on. Am I not paused in this menu? I thought I was paused at that menu, but apparently I was not paused in that menu. I need to go land and take care of this cat because he's being a monster. Frodo. If you're going to jump, jump on the floor. I don't mind if you jump on the floor. Hang on. I thought it paused. It did not pause because I was still flying. We're just landing here is all we're doing. Hang on, guys. Bonus to taking the cat out is the coffee's done. So now I have a piping hot cup of coffee. 